I'm sure you know this popular verse, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. My question for you, and this is a question I had to ask myself, do we replace the Lord in this verse with the doctors when it comes to our health? Trust in the doctors with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways acknowledge what the doctors say and they will direct your paths. Do we do that? I know I used to, especially my naturopathic doctor. Anything he said, I was doing. Anything that a health guru online that was about natural healing said, I was doing. I was trusting in them with all my heart and leaning on their understanding, not on mine, but on theirs. And then that eventually led to my understanding as well. My understanding was in line with their understanding. And then I was still praying. Let's not get that wrong. I was praying, saying, oh, Lord, help me. Please show these doctors what needs to happen. But I wasn't first seeking him. Now, remember the scripture, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be given to you. I was seeking first my health and my healing. I wasn't seeking first the kingdom. I was seeking first my healing. It was always on my mind. What does this doctor say? What should I be eating? What should I be taking? What herb should I be on? What lifestyle hack should I be doing? Self-care should I be doing? And I was not leaning on the Lord. I was leaning on my own understanding and I was leaning on the understanding of the doctors, the wisdom that they may have had from God, but they are not God. A good lesson in the Bible that covers this very well, where it's very blatant, how against this God is, is Second Chronicles chapter 16. You find out the story of King Asa, who at first was trusting in the Lord with all his heart, but eventually started to begin to trust in himself. And then at the end, trusting in doctors when he had an ailment, and it led to his untimely death. Um, so it was very specifically says that King Asa became very diseased in his feet, severely diseased in his feet, but he did not seek the Lord in this matter. He seeked only after the doctors. And then the next thing we read is that King Asa died three years after that illness started in his feet. So don't trust only in your doctors. It's not. It's nothing wrong with having a doctor. I don't believe there's anything wrong with that. But I believe that what's wrong with it is when we begin to put them in the place of God when it comes to our health. We should always first be praying when we are encountering any health issue. First praying. Father, should I go to the doctor for this? Which doctor should I go to? And then when you go to the doctor, if you feel led to go, listen to what the doctor says and then pray and say, Father, should I do what this doctor is saying? Do you recommend me taking this medication, doing this procedure, eating the way this doctor is telling me to eat? Ask the Lord. Seek him in all things. Seek him. So trust in him with all your heart that he will show you. And we've been kind of brainwashed to think that our doctors know everything. And if they say something, even if we have a funny feeling about it, which could be the Holy Spirit trying to tell you, no, we do it anyway. I'm not saying be completely rebellious against your doctor, but trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Lean not on your doctor's understanding. Lean on the Lord's understanding. And he will guide you and let you know if you should be listening to what the doctor said in a certain particular manner or not. Pray about it. Get sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit and how he speaks to you. Read your word so you know how the Lord's voice sounds because he tells us who he is in his word. So if you don't know him, you won't know whose voice you're hearing when you have revelations. It could be you having the revelation and not God giving you that revelation. It could be the devil giving you the revelation, trying to destroy you. So you have to know the voice of God. You have to know his voice. The scripture says, my sheep know my voice. In order to know his voice, you have to know him. In order to know him, you need to know his word. You need to know his law, understand the character of him so that when you are have a nudge or a hunch in your mind of something, you can know, is this from him? Some things, it could go either way. So then that's when you need to really just pray for wisdom from God to show you and discernment. Is this you, Father, when it's not clear? cut black and white and he will make it clear to you and how do i know this because the word says in james 1 5 through 8 if any of you lacks wisdom let him ask god who gives generously without finding fault and it will be given him 
So if you ask, if you lack wisdom for something, you lack discernment, ask God, it will be given you. But there is a condition to this. But when he asks, he must not doubt. Let him ask with in faith. So you must ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Let not that man think that he will receive anything from the God. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So once you decide that you are going to let God lead you in all things, then you need to let him lead you in all things. And if something comes up where it goes against what you feel, what you believe God has shown you, then don't be double-minded in it. Pray and ask for a complete clarification and then stick with what he said. So understand the importance of praying in faith and believing that he will answer your prayer, not wavering in the fact that he hears our prayers and answers prayers, trusting that he will do that. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So even though we don't have the answer, we can't see it right away, we believe that it will be given to us. We believe that the healing will happen in whichever way he chooses it to happen. If it happens via a procedure that the doctor recommended and God gives you the go ahead, then great, that's how the healing happens. If it happens naturally and God shows you what you should be eating, what you shouldn't be eating, things you should or shouldn't be doing in your lifestyle in order to help you heal, praise God. That is how he's going to heal you. But just know that it's not always one way. But most importantly, we must trust in the Lord with all our hearts and lean not on our own understanding. Do not replace that with your doctor. Do not replace that with your health online guru. Do not replace that with me and what I'm saying. Do not add to the word. Do not take away from it. That's what the word says. So only listen to the voice of God, know his voice, and move forward based on his voice. I'm Tamath Lene. Subscribe for more faith-based healing videos. Take care and God bless.